Hello beautiful people, my name is Naila, your host for The Art of Living Show. Today we're in the middle of Limuru and I can't help but enjoy this breathtaking landscape of the tea plantation. It's spectacular to say the least, don't you agree? Oh, and the fresh air is amazing! <laughs> Our guest today is a millennial on the move, a media sensation, CEO and founder of Yellow Designs. Her appetite for art depicts her love for design, fashion and vintage, which is beautifully expressed in her luxurious bags. And it reflects her personality, elegant and classy. She is none other than Marcy Chalo. She invites us to her beautiful home, to have a look around, and to have a conversation. Miss <laughs> Print, what's? Oh, there she is. Sprinted. Hello, oh. Missy. Hi. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Can I join you? Please join me. <laughs> <sighs> Hi. Are, you, are we hugging or are, are we? We, we, are, we are. We are doing what? We are pretend hugging. We are pretend hugging. How are you? I'm good. Nice to see you. I have this is something. why you keep young. Huh? I keep young. Artistic, creative, <laughs> and everything. Creative. Creative, right? Creative. My goodness. Yes. So, how did you end up spotting a place such as this? Um, being led from within. Yeah. Uh, looking for peace. And you know, once you start trying to find beauty, mm -hmm. it'll find you. Why would you be so far away from the city? Don't get it wrong, I love to party. Uh -huh. uh, and I love the city lights. Uh -huh. uh, but I think it's important to find a place you can retrieve, find peace and regenerate yourself. Okay, so this is where you recharge. Yes, this is me, this is how I recharge and um, get myself back so I'm able where, to serve where, where your creative juices flow. Yes. And you're going to show me your bags. Yes. And you're going to show me what you have in store for us today. Yes, Something yes, new. Yes, I have so much in store. Uh -huh. First of all, I'm going to take you home and give you some water. <laughs> you refresh yourself. Looks like you've been oh, learning more than yes, I. I was trying to catch up with you. <laughs> I know, right? Miss it's Marseille. the hills. It's the hills. It's, it's the, the hills. hills. It's the hills. But you are, you look gorgeous. So do you. I love Thank that you. dress. Where is that Thank from, you. by the way? This is from Flick London. Um, <coughs> one of those me? Instagram shops, a beautiful one. Uh huh. Yes. It's lovely. Thank you so much. I love the red. It goes with the Christmas theme as with well. The, actually, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas yes. to you, darling. And I brought your plant. Thank you. This is gorgeous. This is I love the art on the pot right i love it and i love the fact that it's a succulent it's a succulent yes low oh. maintenance you only water it once a week oh my god this yeah. is actually stay on my table there oh that is awesome you remember at top living with this plant <laughs> <laughs> yes i will remember you this is beautiful thank you thank you dear now you're gonna give me a tour of your space first uh -huh. i think you need some refreshments okay <laughs> Yes, you know, we are all very thirsty. Yes, in Nukambani, uh -huh. you cannot just talk to guests without ooh, uh, without something. Sorry. So in Nukambani, that's your culture. Yeah. You have to give people something to Kitu drink. Kitu kido guata Kitu kido kama. Kido kama. Yeah. Cheers to today. Cheers to you. Thanks for coming. Welcome, darling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, that is so good. Refreshing. So refreshing, darling. I normally have Coke. <laughs> in yes. my house now tell me mm -hmm. about this so where we started with me serving you this is my dining room okay um i love this space so much because it's made me closer to my friends and to my family because we get to eat here together and just enjoy each other's company and it's amazing this is the one place we really talk from where did you get the table from it's very rustic yes my guy is on limuru road he, he's by the side of the road 
um, which is most of the things in my house. They are Kenyan made and obviously always on the side of the road, you know, like just like Gong Road. Um, so it was off the side of the road, I saw it and I was like in love with it from the moment I saw it. And this I got it from my mom, mm -hmm. from her old uh, dining area. You know the way your hands me down when yes. you're moving out and you don't have money to buy stuff. Yes. So she was like, this one I'll give you and I took it. So it, it fits here right perfectly. So what about the plants? Those huge, this gigantic. huge plants, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm usually so inspired by how um, ancient Egypt was, ancient Africa was. Yeah. It was big and luxe and beautiful, big flowers. Um, and so when I saw these beautiful flowers, I was like, my dining room has to represent that part of my heritage, that luxury, that um, uh, Athenian feel. I love it to yes, be honest. I love it too. And 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 so is everything. Even the carpets, I got it from Kariobangi. Uh -huh. There's a woman who hand mix them herself oh with a machine. Oh my goodness. And the lighting. And the lighting. Yes. Now, like this one is missing uh, the shell because I had a party, my birthday party. Uh -huh. Oh my God, I had friends and it really ended evil. But then they enjoyed the house and that, that is a reminder that there was a big party. There was yeah. a big, and it, it's perfect. It's you know, perfect. It's in the middle. It's in the middle and it's unique. It's unique? Yeah, that's the way I approach design. Yeah. Nothing has to be perfect. Yeah. Things build each other. Uh, yes. As time goes, you gain and you uh, after some time you have a perfect uh, thing. And the curtains, by the way. Yes. I can't help but they're beautiful Thank curtains. you so much, you know, because, you know, when you have time, mm -hmm. go to Isili, uh -huh. you'll get the most beautiful prints. Yes. Uh, and it's just basically how you put things together. I okay. love it because the curtains kind of reflect the garden outside with oh, the green. Yes, with the green, yes. um, so I wanted something. The curtains to just reflect what is outside, and basically, I also wanted the whole house to represent what is outside. This table, first of all, it's broken. Meaning, yes, you still had more parties in here <laughs> before we came. <laughs> yes. Um, so my friend Mungai was fixing this light fixture over here. You see, yes, and then he just stumbled and fell, and everyone was okay, but the table. Yeah. Um, and, and he was so sorry and I was like oh no you destroyed but then at the end of the day it reminds me of those moments yeah I, I think I put these books here to confuse people not to see the damage <laughs> <laughs> I love the thoughts behind it you know the other thing that captured my attention before we go far is the flowers the flowers the jobbera flowers yes my goodness ah, they are Girl. gorgeous and one of the best things is that they just grow here in my neighborhood. Uh -huh. I don't have to go so far to find them. Uh -huh. um, my goodness, you know this? I feel like it, they, they don't seem real. They don't seem real at all. Yeah, it looks like a picture. Why I love flowers in my home is because the creativity behind them. Yeah. Um, you can see how nature is so beautiful. Yeah. And if you look closely, they mm -hmm. look like butterflies. Yes. You know, and, and there are sea creatures that look like that. And yes. so you can see a kind of DNA that has been captured from flowers to sea creatures to plants to everything. So where did you get your creativity from? You no, let me just find out what did I want to tap into that there's a certain oasis that you're tapping into <laughs> because everything you're talking about just oozes creativity yes tell me first of all I'm a Leo okay <laughs> I'm also in a family I come from a family of people who appreciate nice things okay. um, and they always want to go the distance to get unique things from my mom my dad my siblings all of them okay. we're also very competitive siblings oh uh, yes we'll talk <laughs> about that yes very competitive and very all of you are very you you're big on, on media yes very artistic yeah and very creative yeah talk to me about these paintings and that too. I love this painting because it's an aerial view of what would happen maybe at the Masai Mara or the Savo. And then also from a deeper level, mm -hmm. I love the way you can see a very vulnerable animal yes. and a very strong animal yes. in the same picture. Yeah. It depicts like kind of the polarity of life. Um, so that's why I bought the painting. Fantastic, and those horses? Normally as human beings, you, you're, you're always facing three people inside you or three voices. Um, and so that's just the depiction of this picture. Oh, lovely. And you know, for a millennial to have a fireplace, <laughs> 
I always wanted to have a fireplace. Actually, I, you know, growing up and watching TV and all the Father Christmas comes down this chimney, yes. always dreamt of having one. For here, because it gets really cold, okay. I think the fireplace really works beautifully. Now, where did you get this? You know, because it's such a statement. Yes. Um, a chandelier. It's a gift for my friend. He's called Mungai. Okay. Um, and he came here and told me that my house has this feel of strength and that he can feel my personality mm -hmm. and that he felt like this would work so well in the house. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that it looks like it has horns mm -hmm. um, and in, you know the way you can have a gazelle or those horns. Yes. I, I thought that is what it brings out, that just that majesticness. How big is your space? This house was built in the 1980s. What? Yes, okay. um, and originally, before this house was built, um, there were other colonial homes that were here from 1930. Oh, right. um, even I have neighboring homes that were built that far ago. This this furniture as yes. well. Yes. Yeah. So, I know you have a story behind it. Yes. 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 So yeah. um, I found this great um, carpenter on Gong Road mm -hmm. and he made my first pair so when I went to, to say hi to him again yeah. he was so happy I had brought him so much business yes. he just decided to give me new ones Wow! Um, and so like you can see a lot of the things in this house are gifts okay <laughs> initially when I got to the house, I think this is what made me fall in love with the house. The mm -hmm. fact that it had an extension that I hadn't seen in so many modern homes. Yes. Um, and so it had the normal roof, mm -hmm. uh, which a little later on I removed it. I removed the bricks and I put the transparent mabatis, uh, which I thought was an amazing idea. It actually now brings the, the sun in and it's warmer here any time of the day, even in the night. Even in the night. Yes. And the you when you sit here especially when it's dawn mm -hmm. the break of dawn you see the different unique colors from the sun yes. so when it's pink blush orange the the mabashi just brings that in and i think that's it's it's amazing it's always an inspiring morning when i'm here oh my goodness yeah. that is amazing so you changed the iron shade yes and wow. and that just brought in so much light and, yes. and life Yes, and life into the space. Yes. Um, shall I? Please, yes. Okay. And here uh, I have some fat croissants. Yes, I see them. Wow, they you're are giant. Yeah, they're gigantic. You're Gi most welcome. Let's break bread and eat. Let's break bread and eat. <laughs> Perhaps, you know, mm. this is nice brunch for us. Mm -hmm. We do some brunch, right? Yes. Um, so cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> cheers. And to cook a cola. And to cook. <laughs> there cheers. You go. Cheers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me, mm -hmm. um, you also have lots of bits and pieces into the, in, in this space. Where, did you collect slowly or is it something that you already had in mind? You had made up your mind, this is how you want your space to look like? So, everything was collected slowly. Mm -hmm. Um, and when I moved here, mm -hmm. it was an empty house, mm -hmm. which for me represented an empty canvas mm -hmm. for my mind to just paint all over. Mm -hmm. um, so some things I got from friends, mm -hmm. some things I got uh, from myself. Mm -hmm. um, for example, those seats over there, they are from my mom. Like mm -hmm. I told you, there are some hand-me-downs that she was giving me yes. since I had no furniture. Yes. And so they landed out here. When I was able to buy my furniture, yeah. they landed out here. Okay. What's the relationship with your siblings like? You yeah. Know, and how has that inspired you to the person you are? I have very, very smart siblings. I think everyone in my home is a genius. Okay. So I'm inspired by how they are. They, are, they, are they, they go after their dreams. Yes. And I think just when we put our brains together, we do amazing things. garden young lady thank you thank you so much labor of love labor of love yeah so do you do gardening yourself uh well i like to say myself but not really myself yes but i conceptualize it aha uh -huh. yes you know how to really do your flowers and arrange flowers i want to learn something yeah so you're gonna show me it's an inborn skill uh, -huh. uh so sipoweza don't blame the teacher <laughs> But I'll try my best. Okay. So here we have a vase. Mm -hmm. I love it. Like I told you, it's green so green is my thing. And a jug of water. Mm -hmm. So we are starting with that. Always remember. Okay. 
doesn't have to be full. Yes. I think in the middle, yes. I'll wanna go with this. Uh -huh. And then on the sides, we can put this okay. so that it's a kind of uh, gradient. And then now we'll go for the roses. We'll look for the deep colors as well. We go in with that. Mm -hmm. The deeper colors go in and then the more lighter colors go out to provide the gradient. And you can get rid of these if you don't need a lot of the leaves. Now we're going to use the same logic of having the, uh, the outer ones, the most lighter ones outside. Okay. Now I'd love to cut the stems up uh, and don't go too much because after some time for them to, to live longer, you continue cutting. You need to put sugar because yes. that's food for the yes. flowers. Yes. And you need to put jig to yes. kill the bacteria. Oh wow. For them to last longer. Oh really? Yes. I didn't know that. That's a tip. <laughs> I didn't know that at all. Oh look at that. How beautiful, beautiful is that? These flowers are amazing. My goodness. What's your weakness? That's one thing I've been asked you by the way. On a personal level. And are you dating? Ah. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Take oh, them. <laughs> yes, I'm dating. It was this lucky guy. <laughs> Oh, I think I'm the lucky one. Do you want to have children? Do you I get do. Married? I definitely want to have a family. Yes. Um, and it's something I'm looking forward. Yes. I mean, with all this, you want to transfer all this knowledge or what your inspiration to other people. For the sake of our viewers, are you moving now from online to, to, to now having a store, physical store? So Yalo originally has always been online. Yes. Um, and it'll still be online. Our main shop, our website is yes. still very active. Mm -hmm. But we thought it was an amazing idea to just um, have a place where our customers can come and experience the brand. Um, so it doesn't take away from our online pl platform it's still there, we, we still sell there, it's still our main shop. Um, but then I thought it, it was an amazing idea to just have somewhere where we can come, feel, touch and discuss. What was the, the behind thoughts with this whole look and feel of your space? I am a lover of the coastal culture, the Lamu culture. Yes. Uh, because they've been able to preserve um, they've been able to preserve their culture yes. and it's seen so much. Mm -hmm. So I was greatly inspired by that culture. What has caught my attention <laughs> is yes. your floor yes. and the ceiling yes. and the walls. Yes. Who does that? <laughs> Same color. I think this uh -huh. is a type of paint that is mixed with a pla like the mixed with the um, cement mm -hmm. that brings out that, you know, almost the whole cement looks the same color. Now, the other thing that I want you to talk to me about mm -hmm. is the fisherman lampshades. Yes, yes. I mean, because we borrowed the plastering from Lamu, uh -huh. I wanted to have a centerpiece, yes. um, lights that just represent the humility of our culture, the beauty of everything that is handmade. And that's what I wanted to take center space. Talk to me about the seats because you've also picked some very interesting colors. You are actually having that. Can I add something? Some yes, hope? please. Some kilka killer. Yes. You know, the essence of African culture is yeah. togetherness and hosting. That's what we learn from our culture. Yes. And I wanted the, I wanted seats that could host people. I wanted seats that we could sit down and have conversations with our customers. Let's with, toast to, ta to that. Cheers and congratulations Thank on the you. launch of your yellow. Talk to me about your bags. That was our first female bag because initially we were purely men. Okay. Yes, and we wanted to concentrate on work bags for men. Okay. Uh, but, you know, because of women wanting, you know, also to be part of the leather culture. Yes. They asked for something and we designed, together with the team, we designed that bag. All right. And it is our first bag. It's called the Shella Tote. So and where do you get the names from, you know? That's actually, a fancy name. Yes. Uh -huh. all, our, all our names are places in Africa. Okay. Um, for example, this is Mara. It's inspired by a trip I went to Mara. All right. And and the team uh, created a beautiful bag for me to just have a day trip with it and just enjoy. That's what about Rari. this? That's this is Rari. my favorite. That's your favorite? It's yes. Our ladies work bag, something simple. It's called Radi. Uh -huh. um, so you see Radi, Radi is lightning. So something that stands out, something that gets you. Are you exporting them by the way? 
Yes, we export in retail terms. In okay. Like for example, mm -hmm. if you buy a product from wherever you are in this world, we will deliver it to you. Oh, wonderful. So, yes, and we do have customers from outside. We've exported to the Netherlands, the US, to Australia. We have exported to inside Africa, South Africa, Tanzania is one of our beautiful best customers. Okay. So, we do have uh, international trade and we are very glad. What two tips can you give young millennials who want to start their businesses and want to be like you because you are a leader? Mm -hmm. Choose your team wisely. Mm -hmm. I think you can have amazing ideas, mm -hmm. but execution is everything. Mm -hmm. And you cannot execute everything alone. I also think it's important to be a free thinker. Okay. Um, you know, in a world where everything is manufactured in mass, Yes. We have very few people thinking differently. Yes. So I think it's important to be a different thinker and, and to just be confident in your thoughts. Yes. Um, so I think if you're going to ask me two things, I'll be like, pick your team wisely yes. and think freely. I have to show you one of our most innovative products. Which one is it? Ah, show me. Nuki. So Nuki was brought to just help you use your phone without you being there. You can have a conversation, you can use it, you can use it on your desk. You can have video calls and stuff. And so we are blessed with innovation. Unbelievable. Right? What's your best seller? This is one of our best sellers okay. when it comes to women. Okay. It's such a cute bag. Okay. Um, and by the way, we are developing a heritage line. Right. So most of our bags are plain. And, and you know just plain colors which is a style I love simplicity is key for me um, so we developed a heritage line that you know encompasses some of the things that are so true to our culture the beaded the beading design the name of your store yellow.co.ke our website mm -hmm. you can also come to Roslyn Mall Riviera shop 111 and shop to your feeling you can come with your friends you can come with your spouse and have a private shopping experience that just gives you that, you know, that time to relax and breathe. I'm so sure you guys have enjoyed her space, her office, and not her office, but her store, her beautiful store and her home. She translated her art, which is crafted, and she picked each piece with passion and love, as you can see. Join me next week when we have another guest Sunday at 6 p.m. Thank you for watching. Kansai Pleskin favorite hue of the year is Mulberry Leaf and Four Color Stories. The first color story is Gentle and Serenity. Gentle Serenity explores the walk away from perfection and search for wellness. The second color story, City to Self. This inspires a palette of upbeat midtones, which also have a nostalgic and sun faded quality. The third color story, Mellow Bohemian Palette. Mellow Bohemian Palette explores a pushback to trusting instincts and connecting with nature. The fourth color story, Smoke and Mirrors. The mystical and mysterious side of nature drives smoke and mirrors with designs that fascinate, surprise, and sometimes disorient.